Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you all are doing well. Uh, this is a channel for Virgos and Virgos only. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Uh, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. Don't stress yourself out. Um, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. And please do hit like, share, and subscribe. All right, Virgos, how's it going? I hope you all had a wonderful Halloween weekend. All right, let's take a look, see what your love messages are here. Okay, can't shuffle today, can't shuffle. Hi, everybody in the chat. Hope you guys are doing well. Let's see. Okay, we're starting with the Two of Wands. Somebody's at a crossroads waiting for an answer, waiting for some results. Okay, Three of Cups, Six of Pentacles, okay, Temperance, High Priestess, Page of Wands. Oop, I got two. Okay, the Sun, Seven of Cups. And the four of cups okay bottom of the deck somebody's watching you like a hawk virgo spying on you um somebody here very curious about something okay this can be a card of truth trying to find the truth about a situation or seek out some truth okay oh Ten of swords oh you're definitely going to be getting a message here uh, somebody who's going to, I feel like, either text or call asking if this is done, if you guys are over, if, like, if this is it. Maybe asking if you're going to be talking to them anymore or uh, if, if, if you still love them or have you walked away or are you gone temporarily? Did you move on? Or are you, like, is this whole thing done? That's what I feel. Yeah, I keep getting these similar cards. The tower, what's going on? Did, did you abandon or leave somebody? I feel like there's somebody here who feels like you're withdrawing or you're moving on. And it's quite a shocker to them. Um, and I feel like somebody's seeking answers or is going to be seeking answers. Or like, is, are things still, yeah, there's not enough information with the moon. Oops. Okay. There's not enough information here. What's going on? Are we, are we going to buy that house together? Are we going to move in together? Um, are, you know, are we going to start that business together? Where have you been? What's going on? <sighs> Did you move? Did you buy a new home for some of you? Did you relocate? So we have Cancer, Pisces, um, Scorpio, there's Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Okay, some of the messages, like I said, it may be for you, it may not. Don't sweat it if it's not your person. But I feel like somebody's either prying or spying or is trying to get some information, very curious. They want to know the truth about something maybe you ghosted somebody or you just ended a relationship all right let me see what the love messages are here are you just left i don't know stay optimistic about your love life wow somebody it feels like whoever this person is is really like staying positive wants to is trying to stay positive so that something is not over or or that something can continue or there's deception here this person feels like you're hiding something or you're not being true with them or you're not being maybe you're masking or you're not giving someone the truth maybe you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings um, so some of you may have just decided to walk okay and getting to know each other I feel like this person wants to reveal more to you they want to talk to you they want to open up try to get to know you or to share more things or to deepen this bond so they're definitely in this position here where they're waiting to hear back from you okay um this person's willing to um kind of feel like
they're willing to make they're ready to make a choice they're ready i feel like this has a lot to do maybe with some uh travel okay it might be a question like for some of you it could be like are we still getting together I feel the three of cups here, definitely. Are we going to have our reunion? Are we going to meet up? Are we going to come together? Okay. Um, hmm. And the six of pentacles here, they want that give and take. What's going on? You've got somebody here. I don't know if this is your past person or if this is someone that you were dating that maybe you just were like, nah, it's not going to work out. Some of you might have just, or you're in this process of deciding currently or you have decided that this isn't going anywhere and i feel like this person is just not feeling that same way let's take a look here at the two of wands okay do you have the moon card yeah they're they're waiting for clarity they're waiting for you to tell them some truth or to give them clarity <laughs> especially in november they're waiting on you Oh gosh, see, there's a page of swords again. They want to know if you're with others, where you've been, what you're doing, if you're going out, having fun, if you're reuniting with an ex. Um, this could be an ex, wondering if you are meeting new people. Very, uh, like, very strong curiosity. Well, let me see here, the six of pentacles. Hmm oh my goodness the two of cups yeah this person wants to come together with you they want to finish i just heard they want to finish what you started or what you both started or start over or meet up with you for some of them I, it feels like uh they want to give you that money that they owe you i don't know if somebody owes you money or just have some type of an exchange with you I feel like this person, if this is a past person, there may have been an element where you're, this person was not very generous with their time, effort, or money for some of you. And I feel like they want to give. Maybe they breadcrumbed you a lot in the past. There's a lot of breadcrumbing. That Six of Pentacles is always my breadcrumbing card. Um, some of you just said, that's it. Not taking the breadcrumbs. If you can't give me the whole loaf, I'm out of here. Okay, so that energy is definitely playing out. This person, though, is still optimistic that you guys can have a romantic relationship or move forward. Now, temperance is here. So I definitely feel like this person is kind of like, all right, well, maybe it wasn't just the right time. And they're still going to wait. It's just a lot of waiting energy again. They just kind of feel like you're not, like you're hiding or you're wearing this mask or you're telling them that everything's fine. You're just, but they're sensing that everything's not fine. There you go again. Two of Wands. Oop, my nail just popped off. <laughs> Two of Wands, waiting energy. Just kind of sitting there like, all right, we're at a crossroads. Now what do we do? Now what do I do? Which direction do I go with Virgo? Making a choice, waiting for the call, waiting for the answer, waiting for you to reach out and, you know, I feel like, oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, they feel like you're in hiding, King of Pentacles here. This person feels like you are just, you're in mystery mode. Okay, you're kind of closed off to them. They sense this, that you are just kind of keeping secrets. You're not saying anything. You, some of you might just be telling this person, oh, I'm just busy with work. But that's, I mean, that might be a half truth. Okay, so I do feel like you're going to get communication. It's going to be some kind of a message like, hey, where have you been? Um, how are you? It's, it's like a, um, it's a prying question what's going on haven't heard from you they're trying to get at some truth here but this person is very smitten has a huge crush on you if this is your past person they're still very interested 
and I do feel like you're going to get some kind of message in November from them. Okay, there you go. The eight of wands. You're not only going to get one, you're going to get a whole bunch, a whole bunch of communication coming to you from this person. Um, Cupid's arrows. Okay, uh, good news. And it's going to be something like, I miss you. I still have a thing for you. I still am smitten with you. I still want to be with you. That kind of thing. Okay. Just so that they can kind of get the truth. But I do feel also that this person is going to come in with a little bit of deception themselves. In the sense that I don't feel like they're going to come in with the absolute truth. In this, like... In other words, they're not going to openly admit stuff. I feel like they want to just try to get you engaging in conversation with them again so they can find out at a later date what's going on, which is, here's the sun. This is when they start opening up here. They feel like you have, that you've become indifferent to them or to the relationship or that you've ghosted them or that you are no longer committed or you are no longer interested, okay? They, they sense it. Some of you might have told them this, um, but they, if that's the case, I feel like they want more information. Some of you may not have told them this and they're curious to try to find out what's going on with you or if we can do this again here with the two of cups or if we can try again oh look <laughs> the high priest so this is marriage commitment they're going to open up to you tell you that this is what they want with you and i know some of you might just be not interested this could be somebody new or somebody that you've been talking to some of you maybe you just pulled away to have a little time to think about things for some reason. I feel like this person, if this is somebody that you were connecting with, it feels like they um, they realize that they were kind of being a bit indifferent to this connection. Maybe they weren't taking it seriously. And then you in turn maybe didn't take it seriously. You just were kind of like, okay, well, you know, we've been talking. If you're not going to take this seriously, then neither am I. And some of you just, you know, kept it moving, went right out the door. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. This person going to tell you, I feel like they're, they're aware that they took too long. They took too much time or they took too long getting to know you. They couldn't make up their mind. And now here they are with their mind made up feels like and so you're they're gonna surprise you surprise message coming in for sure in november they want to talk they want to reveal things they want to talk to you okay they're single they're coming in single if they had somebody in the past uh you know i didn't ask if they did they may have if you know that for a fact then that's your story but I see this person coming in now as definitely in a position of single and independent. And there's no other attachments. They have no other attachments to them at this time. Very interesting. Let me take a look at your other messages here for you. Hey you guys, how are you? Right, let's see, what other messages does Virgo need to know with this person? Okay, secure home, all right. So for some of you, this person, you guys lived together. Um, they wanna move home, come back home. Okay, for others, um, some of you were in the process of trying to secure a home or a new home. Um, or I don't know, maybe you were like locking up your windows and doors to keep this person out. For some of you, I feel like this person is seeking that secure home base with you and they feel like you're their home. That's where they can have this with, like you're the one that they can have that secure, loving, 
a relationship, like that home, home like that homey feeling. Because Virgo, you're good at that, you know, especially the ladies, um, or the I should say the divine feminines. You're very good at making home abundant. Okay. Okay, there you go. Waiting for an answer. That's what I'm telling you. This person's waiting to hear from you. Um, they're going to wait. They're waiting to hear what you have to say, where you've been. If you want to try this again, will you come together with them? Will you? Can they travel to you? Uh, if it's a long distance connection, can they come over? Can you guys sort things out? Okay. Loving older female. So you could be connecting with um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces uh, feminine energy. That could be your person. Okay. Oh, you've got new chapter. Okay. So this person is... Um, oh, they also... If, you're, if you are a divine feminine, they view you as someone... Who is loving you might be a, a little older than, than them or you might be wiser if you're younger than them but more wiser in your age um but this person it feels to me like they're coming in with this new chapter energy wanting to start over looking back on the past that you both had if this was a past situation but they want to write the next chapters of this book between the two of you. This person, if you weren't connected in the past, they could be looking back on their own life and are ready to start new in their life. And it could be with you. Okay. So there's definitely, that is the world energy. That is like this, a new cycle beginning here in this person's life they're ready for this new chapter in their life in love okay highly logical male okay so for some of you that could be you um, or somebody could have been connected with an aquarius libra or a gemini okay let's see here hitting rock bottom yeah so I definitely feel like if this is a past situation, you both have come to like bottoming out in this connection. This feels to me mostly like if this is a past person that you guys have completed some kind of a lesson or cycle, uh, but separately, if you're in separation, both of you waking up to the what's next stage of this connection but mostly this person is waking up to this energy okay yep time to go you know where you're going and how to get there now it's time to go don't waste any more time just do it go after what you want no hesitation blockages are being removed that's what i was saying and this is what this person's energy is it's a go for it this feels like this person is ready to go for it now some of you might be like well i don't know you're going to go for it and hit a brick wall because i am not there um, some of you might be in that position some of you um might be connecting with somebody new in november and things start off very slow with this person but it's kind of like i i get a sense like things might start off slow with somebody um and then you just kind of are like eh you lose your your spark but then i feel like this person suddenly sees that you are not interested or you just kind of fake your way out of it and now they come to some kind of an epiphany like wait a minute wait a minute i gotta go for this with virgo okay so either way past person or a new person coming in let's see what else learning a new skill mm. okay <laughs> well if this is a past person for you your past person 
I definitely feel like has learned some lessons in separation. Okay. It feels like um, relationship skills. Maybe it's how to be a better communicator. Uh, maybe it's looking back at they weren't reciprocating enough and now they need to like re realizing they were breadcrumbing you and they weren't giving you all that you deserve. So that's that new skill energy. This is also about teamwork, like understanding that this is a partnership and that it must be built together. It must be crafted together. Virgo, a lot of you with a past person, you were building and your person was just on lunch break the entire time while you were doing all the work. And a lot of you just put your tool belt down and you said, you know what? I'm going on lunch break too. Adios. And I feel like this person, your past person is coming to terms with, you know, they needed to get up and put their tool belt on and help you build this. They weren't doing that in the past here. And if this is somebody new, which I feel like that energy is also playing out for some, this person, like, it's like the same type of energy, but in somebody new and in somebody old. So there's some type of planetary shift of some sort or something's lessons have been learned. This is what I feel. Lessons have been learned. Okay, a lot of you went no contact. If you went no contact, I do feel like that's why this person is looking for you. They're watching you. Um, maybe they see you on social media. They're looking at your story. And you're like, why do they keep looking at my story? If they're not reaching out, they're trying to get at the truth. They're trying to find out what's going on. Some of you are not giving any information. Um, you know, if you're not on social media, they're just looking for you. If you've just gone no contact and you're not feeding this wolf, <laughs> you're not giving any information. It's making them more curious and it will cause them to come forward. Okay. Your absence has them needing to fill this void to get more information about you or just to see if you are available. Um, if you're still available to have, uh, to make something work. Okay. Now I know, I know, I hear you. Some of you are like, Nope, I am available for somebody new, but I do feel like a lot of you are going to meet somebody new and they're going to be, I don't know. Some of you might be getting, uh, some of you might get this sense when you meet somebody new, like, Oh my gosh, is this going to turn into the same thing that I've already been in? So some of you might be going very slow or pulling away. And this person actually, you're, you guys are attached by a string. So when you pull that string away, you're also pulling them to you. And you're doing that by no contact, by not communicating. Some of you, like I said, you just left the scene of the crime. All right, let me see. Okay, this person's going to take a risk with you, Virgo. Because their thought process is, what do, what do I have to lose now? I don't have Virgo. I've lost everything. So I have nothing to lose by taking this risk. I'm willing to start over, even though I know it's going to be hard. But I need to spread my wings and stop overthinking this. This person might have had deep fear about failure or about things not working out. So they weren't willing to take that risk and to lose you. But they've lost you. Or they, you know, your past person has lost you. Uh, a new person comes in and then they don't take a risk and they lose you. And no matter what, Virgo, I feel like a lot of you are like, listen, shit or get off the pot. You know, I mean, we you sit on the fence all freaking day, like take the risk or go. Because I feel like a lot of you are like, I'm willing to take a risk to find out, to explore, to see how things might go. And if you've got somebody here who's fear-based, I just kind of feel like Virgo is like, I can't deal with the fear-based. Like I can care and I will love you and I can try to show you that I'm a safe person. But if you're not willing to take that risk or you keep dipping out, Virgo's like, I can't stay. I, because that's going to cause damage to my soul and my self-esteem. And I deserve better to, to have somebody come in 
who is willing to take this risk together. So you definitely have them they're in this position because like I said, a lot of you just pulled your energy back, or you're no contact, you're just not trying to engage in this anymore. And a lot of a lot of you are having somebody show up here who's like, oh, I gotta do it because I have I got nothing left. I have nothing left. Okay, this person's gonna stand their ground. They're gonna stand up. You gotta fight for your right. <laughs> They're gonna stand their ground. I don't feel like this is something this person's used to doing. It's a big shift and a big change, see? You can do this, that's what I'm saying. This is a card of courage. They have the, they're getting the courage and the strength to withstand the situation coming in with kindness it's their best attribute they're fighting back their fears pulling that courage up from the ground and holding steady they want to win or be a winner in your life they don't want you to see them as someone who's weak and that they can't do this because i feel like a lot of you feel like this person just didn't have the courage to even try or to put in their best effort. And I feel like this person is coming up with this mighty fist. Okay, you're gonna get a sweet text message. I miss you, where have you been? What are you doing? How are things? When can we connect? And I don't feel like you guys are gonna answer them right away. I kind of get that sense that some of you might just get that <laughs> look. You might get that text, you know, if you get it on the phone and look at it and say, hmm, I don't know what to think about this. Hmm, I don't know if I trust this, but what is the text? The sweet text message is coming in. Committed love relationship, okay? So this person, that's what's behind it. That's what their intentions are. I know some of you like to, well, now it's a little too late. This person is definitely looking at the situation differently, looking at love from different, wearing different set of glasses here. And they felt stuck, but they're coming to terms with, that was just an illusion that they created in their mind that their fear created. Um, they're definitely having a slight change in view. seeing things quite differently now. And I feel like for a lot of you, you went no contact or you just disappeared like completely off the radar, radio silence. And that seems to have left them sitting with themselves. And now they're like, oh, they're feeling the absence. They're feeling the absence. Okay, hey, speed and travel. So this person's gonna come in very fast. They're going to come in very fast, like out of the blue, and things are going to pick up very quickly if you receive and you allow it, okay? But no matter what, even if this person reaches out to you and don't respond, then they're going to get an even stronger sense that you're actually gone, and then they're going to pick up speed, and then you're going to get more messages, and then they're going to, you know, I, mean, I know some of you have this person blocked. You won't even get the messages. Well, I'm telling you that they're going to be sent. So if you have them blocked, that's your will. And that doesn't mean this messages aren't being sent. It just means that you have them blocked and you're not going to be able to receive them. Okay. Um, and if you, if you want to keep it blocked, then this reading means nothing because you're done. But if some of you are like, well, hmm, maybe I want to see, maybe I just want to see. And some of you might choose to unblock this person in some way see what they do but a lot of you I feel like even if you do that you're not going to just fall for the words you're you're done with lip service take the risk or take a hike <laughs> solo you know okay there you go message from an admirer so I'm telling you Virgo this person is 100% you are so totally getting communication in November Yes, sir, re Bob. I took a lot of cards here. Money in the bank. <laughs> Some of you, your person's a wrestler. I just heard. That's a strange message. But some of you are, yeah, either they're like, they could be professional. They could just do it on the side, they just told me. Or maybe you are a wrestler. Um, 
but this is kind of like money in the bank is like a sure shot money in the bank is like investing and saving investing in this relationship to save it and i feel like that's their mo right here that's their mo that's what they're coming in with all right let's take a look at the hidden truth oracle messages I love you unconditionally. This person, Virgo, oh my gosh. Now, if you just met this person and they're telling you this, I'd be like slowly stepping away if you just met them and they're doing that. Because then I'm just, I don't know. I mean, some of you, I, I just, it's just a little too like, I mean, I guess you could take it like, okay, well, I accept you. I accept you unconditionally you could take it that way but if they're coming in like i love you and you guys just met and it's like there's no, how could you possibly love me you don't even know me then uh, i would just get some clarification about what they mean by that um but this does this could be your past person for some of you who's coming in with this energy like they do accept you they do love you unconditionally they always have they probably just weren't very good at expressing that or showing that to you or they just were passive in a lot of ways, but yet still love you, okay? All right, I left before you could leave me. Hmm. Now, some of you, um, this person did leave. This person did dip out and first. And then you in turn, instead of chasing this person, um, now some of you may, may have ch uh, chased them and some of you may not have either way at some point you guys made the decision to leave as well. Maybe you were forced to, or you had no other choice. It's very well could have happened. Can you believe I'm doing these readings with only uh, a missing now? I feel like such a scrub. I don't want no scrubs. Scrub is a guy who can't get no love from me. All right, let me say. Okay, I'm so attracted to you. This person is definitely, oh, the timing just wasn't right. I feel like this person, for them, you might have thought the timing was right, but for them, it wasn't right. Um, but this person is still like in, wildly attracted to you. Virgo, you're a wild card. You're a wild card to this person. This person really never knew what, what you were going to come up with next. I don't feel like you were, usually Virgos are pretty predictable, but I don't know. I feel like you were unpredictable. Your unpredictability was predictable. So you were kind of a wild card and, and they look at you or they've looked at you and they think, man, I, I just don't know what Virgo's going to come out with this time. It's, 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 it's insanely intriguing in a lot of ways, but it feels like it was very much like a roller coaster kind of situation. This, for some of you, this might have been a twin flame. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Yeah, I don't feel like this person did leave you. I don't like in the sense maybe they physically walked or they just, you know, that it's like gone but not gone, never fully letting you go. I hid who I really am from you. Okay. So I do kind of feel like, again, with the deception card, they might have been masking. They might have just not been sure of themselves or sure of your connection. Uh, you might meet somebody new coming in. And this is how things play out. You know, the whole reading with somebody new. I, you might have somebody new you're talking to now, and this is playing out. And for those of you who don't, there could be like that high, highly lo logical male or a deeply loving female coming in um, where this energy plays out here. Things begin to stall. Uh, maybe at the end of the month, you decide, no, it's not going to work. And then they kind of like circle back around and because you maybe went no contact or you, yep, you're leaving them behind. Or some of you have, and they've, they're feeling it. Remember I said, 
it's like you're attached by like a string and you walk away and you wind up pulling them towards you it's like physics <laughs> it's just like the the natural flow of things here let's see what the messages of love are messages of love decision person is making a decision here that's what i said you have two decision cards they're ready to decide about your connection this person feels they're ready to be completely open with you okay and they have regret a lot of remorse and regret for not taking that risk okay and secretly longing for you i don't feel like this in fact if you've got no contact you just pulled away and you just went off you just like went on an island somewhere to do your own thing. I feel like they just keep waiting for your ship to pass by. <laughs> and a lot of you are like, no, nope, my ship ain't going that way. <laughs> I took my ship, got off on the island, and I'm out there partying with all the natives and doing my own thing. And you're not trying to have this anymore. And this person's like, mm-mm. They're deeply longing for you, but they're doing it. They've been doing it privately. I don't feel like um, if you guys have been in separation or you separate from this person in November, I feel like this person actually winds up longing for you even more. Retreat. Yeah, some of you just retreated. You and this person taking a time out. Just not like, I just don't know. Some of you just decided, you know what? Don't like some of I just I just saw some of you get this text message or communication or somehow some way, and a lot of you don't get it because your phone is off. Once you recharge your phone, then the, if you get it through the phone, then the phone message comes through. Um, that's just what they're giving me. Or you've done that already. Are you doing that right now? Um, you've just recharged your phone and you're just now getting a message from somebody here. Strange energy. Okay. So you've got fixed moon. Hold your vision. So I feel like this person right now has got their focus solely on you. They're holding their vision. The visions of you. Visions of you and them together. I don't feel like this person is willing to let go of their vision, uh, their hope for the future. Okay, conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. So interesting. I feel like the answers, they're seeking answers. The answers will come. They're trying to conclude definitely, like come to some kind of conclusion to find out if you're still interested or if you want to try again with them. Okay, new moon in Libra. New romantic cycle is beginning here with you and this person. Definitely, okay? So just remember, I know some of you are just completely single as a Pringle and there's nobody in your life. This could be somebody new coming in. It's still the beginning of the month. So you could be meeting them and things just go real slow or they stall out or nothing happens and you dip out. Some of you might just be very impatient and this person might be a lot more patient, but whatever goes on, past or new, there's a romantic cycle. Remember, it's November, it's Scorpio season, everything gets revealed during Scorpio season and it's also a time of people coming together as well more often than any other time during the year. This is when the cycle starts, romantic cycles begin with new people, past people, all that energy. Let's take a look here and see what your actual advice is, Virgo. Virgo's advice. Okay, wow, you have the Eight of Pentacles. So right now, Virgo, your advice is to learn all you can learn all you can about some type of subject or career. Now these may or may not be related to the reading, okay? Um, but this is also about some of you just need to really start enjoying your employment <laughs> or what you're creating or building. Uh, maybe you are 
creating or designing something it's like it kind of feels like it's like a some type of form of like uh craftsmanship um if you've been doing that carving painting creating artwork building building your portfolio whatever it feels like keep that going that's just your advice message just don't stop doing that that's a sh that's money in the bank for some of you that's a sure bet and also some of you might your advice might be here well your advice is but some of you might be considering going back to school taking a seminar or finding a mentor to help you through some stuff um so I feel like if, if these are things that are on your mind or not, but they may come up or they may be some things for you to look into or just to keep going in that energy, I feel like that will be very helpful for you. I'm not sure why. And I'm not sure if you're questioning this at this time. Um, maybe asking someone to help teach you something or train you in something. Your other advice here, oh, it's a Knight of Cups. So that's for you to, to get out of your... Uh, you get out of the dead zone, okay, Virgo. Get out of your isolation. Be romantic. Be flirtatious. Your advice is to be introspective, and I feel like it's okay for you to be fickle right now. If you know, you don't have to uh, make any kind of decision right away. Um, if you begin to feel yourself falling in love, your advice is to allow that to happen. Never with someone who's abusive. That doesn't count. Um, allow yourself to be swept off your feet in November. Um, a sudden love affair may be popping up for you guys. Allow it to happen. Okay. Um, anything that makes your heart flutter, allow that. It just feels like allow the love to come in. Okay. If you have a love of art or poetry, embrace that. Uh, but things things will begin you're going to start feeling those butterflies i feel like you're going to get a lot of there might be somebody coming in with a proposal some of you uh, it doesn't have to be marriage it could just be a proposal uh, or a secret admirer or someone telling complimenting you and giving you their giving affection and love to you allow that to happen don't allow don't be afraid of that i'm just hearing Enjoy the romantic holiday season. Be free. Okay, you've got the emperor. So this is Aries energy. Okay, so some of you might need to be, well, to tell Virgo to get a bit more organized is like an understatement. But you may need to get a bit more art organized in your life to be a bit more logical in order to increase your success. Okay. Take charge of some situation in your life in November, Virgo. Accept some kind of leadership role. So you might be offered a leadership role in your career or somewhere in your life. Accept that. <clears throat> and stay focused on structure and discipline as well. Okay. Wise counselor. Okay. So your advice here is to unify yourself with a spiritually minded community which would be very beneficial to your soul. Also to ask the divine for help and trust the answers that will come. If you've been doing that, keep doing that. If you haven't done that, start doing that. Start connecting with spirit. Take a look at your traditional methods and ways of doing things uh, and compare them with new ideas to see which is the best path for you. So I feel like some of you might be connecting with a counselor. You could be, or someone who is wise, uh, or your advice is to begin doing that. So you can sort out maybe some past traumas or things like that in your life that might have been very difficult for you. And, you know, but this is also a card of <clears throat> the Hierophant. <clears throat> excuse me um so this is kind of a sense of like looking at ways in which you uh, your expectations of yourself and other people your advice is to kind of evaluate um your beliefs your belief system um your traditions okay see where you have conformed to things that weren't good for you 
and look for ways to conform to things that are good for you. This is kind of about getting in, li in alignment with your beliefs, your system. So if somebody was treating you like, okay, you, they were just going to accept a friends with benefits, they just want a friends with benefits. I'm using this as an example. If that was the case and that's not what you wanted, but you went along with it anyway, it's time to reevaluate. What is it that you want? What do you deserve? Okay. So I kind of feel like that's really mostly your advice at this time. So you guys, let's get some charms. Oh, <gasps> oh, okay. So we've got the, the ribbon, the healing ribbon. Hmm. Now there might be some of you who are connected to some type of fundraising for some type of cancer awareness, or there's a connection, a remembrance for people. I think November is pancreatic cancer month. So that might play a role for you in, in it feels like in remembrance, in remembrance of somebody maybe had pancreatic cancer or somebody that, um, had some type of cancer of some sort. I just see you maybe putting a ribbon on or maybe you wear a ribbon. Uh, could be breast cancer, uh, like you wear a ribbon to, in uh, solidarity or support. Um, or you might meet somebody who was dealing with that or is connected to that in some way. You might be like volunteering in some type of support groups of some something like that in November. That's connected to some type of cancer awareness or not even cancer for others. It could just be, you know, they do make ribbons for a lot of things and it's just to show a sign of support. Let's see. Maybe you are wearing one of those ribbons right now, or you have one somewhere. Um, oh, I also heard <laughs> somebody needs to like start crossing their legs when they sit. <laughs> I don't know who that's for. They just, I don't know who I'm channeling here. Maybe this is like a family member or someone who's passed away or something. The message is just telling somebody here who's listening, hey, can you start crossing? Maybe somebody in your past said that to you um, or like a parent or someone. When you sit, cross your legs. I, I'm going to leave that right there. Um, so we have a teapot here. Very beautiful. I feel like somebody might be getting a teapot for a gift like a saucer, a cup and a teapot might be receiving that or giving that as a gift. Um, oh, they just said a uh, hot and steamy, hot and steamy. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Maybe some of you are doing a neppy pot because you have a cold. You're trying to cleanse out your sinuses or drinking hot tea or some hot broth. If you have a cold or you're not feeling well. Okay, so we do have an electric guitar here. Okay. Um, some of you, I feel like you might be thinking about buying an electric guitar or buying that as a gift for somebody. Um, or you're connected with someone that plays electric guitar you might be in a music store or have been in a music store looking at, looking at musical instruments. You might be going to see like a, a rock concert or a band or something in the month of November. Um, drinking, maybe some of you might be having wine or drinking or having some celebratory times. Okay, so also in the US that we have Thanksgiving which is November 25th this year. So there might be like some type of Thanksgiving uh, holiday event of some sort or family where there's like a lot of drinking and having fun and there's music and celebratory time. Okay, maybe you're having a glass of wine right now.
Oh, they jumped out three. Okay, we have two glasses of wine. So, Virgo, we're toasting. Why can't I pick this up? There's toasting going on here. You might be toasting with someone or having a, like a celebratory drink with somebody or you're both going out to, there could be an offer for a dinner date of some sort and you're both having, one person might just be having soda and another person might be having wine or, um, you know, a non one non-alcoholic and one alcoholic drink or you both are having that, you're trying different cocktails. Some of you might be on your second glass right now <laughs> listening to this reading. You finished the first, now you're on to the second. Um, but I do feel like very celebratory energy definitely happening in November. Maybe you're giving a toast at somebody's wedding or some type of event. Everybody's cheers, cheering. Okay, so we have, wow, the seahorse. Hmm. Okay, I just heard somebody say, if I could have the baby, I would have. If I could have the baby, I would have done it. Or if I could have had the baby for you, I would have had the baby for you. I don't know what that means. That's what I'm picking up from that seahorse. Somebody might be um, carrying a child or soon we'll find out about carrying, being pregnant or uh, connected to you. It could be you or someone you're connected to about carrying a child. Um, and then there might be somebody who is carrying an, a baby in one of those um, bundles that's attached, that's real close to the body and ha arms, hands and arms are free. You know, I don't, I don't remember what those things are called. It's kind of like a little baby's wrapped up in a papoose and is real close to the body. Okay, so now you have a ship wheel. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oops. <laughs> that was my message. Somebody's got a yacht or will be going on a yacht. Okay. Um, a sailor somebody might be a sailor maybe a sailor in the military okay but it just feels like they're giving me the phrase at the helm at the helm somebody is at the helm steering this ship or is traveling to come see you i don't know this feels this feels like a ship's wheel so however that resonates for you, something about a ship's wheel. <laughs> Guess what? Bye-bye. All right, way too many. Spirit's getting excited, you know, because I must be hitting on some things here. And they're like, no, no. Usually when I'm channeling, I get a lot of different people showing up that want to give messages. And obviously the excitement is just overbearing and they all want to talk, but they all don't get a chance. So I'm going to keep the plane. Okay. So there is a jet. There is a, like a passenger, a passenger plane. Um, there might be travel by boat, travel by air, something to do with an airport or a docking station. I don't know. Maybe a person's an alien and they're out there on the satellites and they're coming to see you okay let's see all right we're getting a lot of music energy here okay um oh i just i just heard they, somebody just said it's music to my ears it's music to my ears i don't know if somebody said that to you before you heard that phrase or you used to say that you know what, this, this jet, so this, this plane, huh. so I know like, listen, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a jet connoisseur. 
I know some jets have wings that have only like one engine on it. This one has two. This is like a, a four engine passenger plane. So I don't know what that means. Maybe somebody's a pilot. I'm just, but I keep hearing it's music to my, this is music to my ears. This is just what I wanted to hear. Very strange. All right, let me see a couple more charms here. Believe it or not, you guys, what fell on the floor was a, yet another wine glass. So there is definitely a reunion or some kind of celebration or party of some sort happening here. This could be you and your friends. Uh, you know, it could be a girl's night out, a guy's night out. Some type of celebration is happening. Of course, you know, I know we're going to the holidays, but November it may not just be a U.S. Thanksgiving. It could be like, oh, for some it could be like going out the night before Thanksgiving. You could be meeting somebody new while you're out. This is celebratory energy. Wow. Here we've got clouds. We have a cloud. This is like cloud nine. This plane up in the clouds, somebody's coming to see you or you're getting on a plane and you're traveling to see somebody else or somebody's flying in or flying home and there's kiss lips here. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> maybe you're putting lipstick on right now or maybe you are receiving, you might get a, it's like a kissy lip. Uh, text emoji or you might send one um, somebody here it might it's like really red lipstick or red kissy lips kind of thing could be somebody's giving a kiss goodbye as somebody travels or maybe or a kiss hello as someone arrives but red lipstick it feels like Either you're going to be kissing someone with red lipstick or you're going to be either receiving or giving. That's what I feel. But this is like music to my ears. It's cloud nine. It's real feel good energy. It's like a surprise love situation coming in here um, or coming back around. Somebody, listen, Virgo, I feel like somebody is very optimistic that things can work out here with you. Now, whether you want to give somebody a chance, that's up to you. Okay, you have free will. You could just click this video off and say, nope, that's done. Move it on. Ready for someone new. And there could be somebody new and it goes too slow and you are like, nope, that's it. I'm not waiting. And then they come back around to try to make something work with you. Okay. If they ghosted you or you ghosted them. So the energies can play out in a lot of different ways, but we'll have to see what happens for November obviously we'll see how things play out definitely leave me comments and let me know if things change or if this energy plays out for you in any way shape or form and if you want to get a personal reading as usual the links in the description box below definitely hit the like share button uh, you don't even have to hit the share button but please do hit the subscribe button that helps me to know how many people are actually engaging in this video or watching this video? Because I can see the subscribers and it would be really great if we were all very cohesive and it helps the algorithm as well. Um, so if anybody left a super chat and I didn't thank you, I will say thank you in advance and also later for that. And yeah, that's what's going on. So happy November 1st, November Second, I can't, I don't even know what today is. I think as this video is released, it's the first and tomorrow is the second. So, all right. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Love you very much. Thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.